ITV4. More local news at 5 starts now. A deadly inferno in urban Honolulu. Flames tearing through a home on Kiwala Street in Makiki. Fire investigators still working at this hour to find out what went wrong. Good evening, I'm Andrew Pereira. Pamela Young has the night off. It was a chaotic scene this morning in Makiki as neighbors rushed to a burning home. KITV4's Roger Mari standing by live from the scene of this afternoon's tragedy. That's right, Andrew. The call came in at around 11 this morning to this house at 1531 K. Wallow Street. Now, the woman in her 20s was able to get out safely with the assistance of some neighbors. Her 57-year-old father wasn't as lucky. how a neighbor describes what she heard when the house a few doors down caught fire. This video shows just how intense things got and how quickly the house was engulfed in flames. Well, there was only two people home. One, one was, um, sadly, was a fatality and the other uh, she had smoke inhalation and I guess it wasn't bad enough so that she had to be transported. One neighbor who lives next door says he smelled something burning but didn't think too much of it until he heard the screams. He went out to douse the large flames with a hose and then tried to get through a window, but it was being obstructed. So I ran back home, grabbed a pick and a hammer, went over, swung one time, pulled the um, chicken wire out, came all out, and we tried to help the lady jump out the window. With the help of another neighbor, the woman was able to get to safety just in time. She jumped out, we both caught her and put her down, and then she said her relative was still in the house. Family members were clearly grief-stricken when they learned their loved one never made it out. The fire was brought under control at 11.30 and fully extinguished at 12.33. Companies did a great job on extinguishing the fire and, and not have it extend to any of the other buildings. Red Cross was also on scene to assist the family. My heart goes out to the family. It's not easy going through something like this. Now, it took 35 personnel with 15 companies to put out the fire. Damage is estimated at $420,000. Reporting live in Makiki, Rajamari, KITV4 News. Andrew, back to you. Thanks, Roger.